Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm just enjoying this view of that nice rainbow back there. But today I'm going to show you how I decorate my small park area. So if you would like to see how it turns out, just keep on watching this video. So I have this little area behind my nook's cranny here to work with. And it's pretty small, so we'll have to make something rather simple to fit in this space. So let's go ahead and put on our hard helmet. And we can begin. So I like to use the terracotta tiles, but you can also use the stone pads. I think that would look nice here as well. But I'm going to use the terracotta tiles. And to start off, all we're going to do is lay down our tiles in a 4x4 patch. You can kind of gauge where it'll be the center of your park because that is where the fountain is going to go on top of. Alright, we got 1, 2, 3, and 4. And now we're just going to have to fill this right in. Alright, so now- oh! That always happens. Anyway, now that we have that down, we're gonna round off the corners here. I always like to round off all the corners. I think it looks a little more natural. And once we're done with that, we can place down our fountain. As long as you make sure that everything is centered where you want it to be. And fountain. Perfect, looks good to me. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down some hedges all around the fountain. I originally wanted to make a park that you could walk through, but that just took way too much space. And as you can see, I do not have that much space here. Really the whole reason why I'm making this small park is because I wanted to act as a sort of placeholder in case there's any new buildings or shops that come in future updates in the game. I feel like if I spent a lot of time making a really elaborate park that you could walk through and it was super nice, I would feel really bad having to move it to make space for any new shops. And so for now, I'm just going to place this simple park. As you can see, I'm having a little trouble trying to walk around everything. I wish the game was a little more precise in the movements, especially when you're terraforming and it just takes so long to get the cliffs just the way you want it. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick this up so I can get some room in here. Last piece. Alright, so that was exactly 20 hedge pieces. So now what we're going to do is we're going to decorate the outside and we can start by placing some trees around to give it some height and I'm just going to dig the holes first so we know exactly where we're going to put them and we can kind of gauge how it'll look. Alright, so just to make sure that they're symmetrical, I'm going to go ahead and place my bench in the middle here. Well, that's not the middle, but I'm going to move it to the middle and make sure that it looks good on both sides. It looks like it'll look even. Yeah, so the trees will look good there. And then we can put some little shrubbery around and some lights to really pull it together. So let's go ahead and put the trees in. I'm going to put a... I'm going to start with an orange tree. 
just to give it some color there and here I'm going to put a cherry tree because I want the reds to be spread out a little bit. So that means over here we're going to put the peach tree. And last but not least, the apple tree. Just so we can have the reds not clash with each other too much. And that looks good to me. So now I'm going to go ahead and start putting down my bushes. I have this pink hydrangea bush. Looks more purple to me, but sure. We're also going to put a blue hydrangea bush right here. And since we want alternating colors, I'm going to put another blue one here. And then, of course, another pink one there. Alright, so let's take a look at what we've got here and see if we like it. I'm just going to sit down and enjoy. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to do the back as well. I know you can't really see it, but it just feels wrong to neglect it. So we're basically going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to come down here make sure I have the right colors. So next color we're going to put purple right here so that you can see the alternating colors again and yeah a blue right here and you really can't see behind this tree here but I'm just gonna put it anyway just to make me happy Alright, so we've got our bushes down, and what I think would look nice is some garden lamps, or what are they called? Garden lanterns? And actually, there's already a garden lantern here, so I don't know if it would look very nice to put it on the outside. So let's try on this side. See, that would look okay, but if I put one over here... Yeah, that does not look too nice. So, I think what I'm gonna do is actually switch spots with one of the bushes in here. I'm gonna put the lantern in here instead. Aw! Oh, of course. Well, I think I have another shovel. Yep. Okay. So as I was saying, I'm just going to switch the bushes with the lamp and hopefully that will look more even and nice. So pick this, okay, <laughs> pick this up and put a lantern in it. Alright, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I definitely hear a balloon in the air. And does it ever bother you guys when you watch other people play Animal Crossing and they just ignore the balloons? I'm definitely not going to ignore this balloon because it's yellow and I think that means bells and I need all the bells I can get. Okay, everything is breaking on me! Oh well. Well, we got our present. Hopefully it's something worth it. Oh, a cute sofa. I guess it wasn't those, but let's see what it looks like. Okay, that's pretty cute. I'll take it. So, we're gonna go back to our park area and see if we can place down these little garden lanterns. Just making sure everything looks symmetrical and there's not too many lanterns clumped up together. Push it in. One on the other side. Push that in, and I think that looks much better than before. What do you think, Sherp? How do you like the park? Alright, thank you, Sherp. I appreciate the feedback. And now we're just gonna head back here and do the same thing. Oh, I gotta fix my shovel here. I'll deal with it later. We're going to fix our shrubbery 
and make room for the lanterns. Alright, and just as I did in the front there with the park bench, I'm going to do the same thing and put my garden wagon in the middle so I can kind of gauge if I can get it symmetrical. And that looks good to me. You know, the garden wagon is actually kind of hard to make. Or it takes a lot if you don't have that many flowers, so make sure you're growing your flowers. As you can see, I tried to breed some flowers here, but it didn't really work out. I tried breeding those blue roses, but I could never get anything even close to them. I don't think I'm doing it right, so if you know how to do it, please let me know how. Alright, so we've got one more little bush left to place right here. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. I meant right here. Okay. Our last little bush. Okay. So I'm just gonna put away my shovel and it's not favorited. So I have to put it way this way. And we're going to put back our furniture here. I think I had a log stool for my little art area. Just so our little villagers can sit down and paint a little painting by the river. And a painting set, of course. Alright, so let's see what we have so far. I think that looks pretty good. Especially for a very limited space. It's a nice little picture area. Let's get a picture with my little hard hat on. Alright, so I think that's all I want to do for my small little park area. Let me go ahead and take off my helmet. So, as I said, I just wanted to make a tiny little park area as a placeholder for any shops or buildings that are coming. If you wanted to make this on a bigger scale, you could easily do so. But thank you for watching and following me on how I did my little small park area. And let me know if you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.